In what will be our final edition of our show this season, we'll be looking into the trouble press is having with Kendall Jenner. The best and worst looks from Coachella. And Lady Gaga's surprise song she just released. I'm Rachel with music. Chris with politics. Baby with fashion. Spencer with gossip. And welcome to the team. For the final time, I'll be serving some you're perfect, you're beautiful, you look like Linda Evangelista realness. And today, we head to sunny Coachella to check out the stars who came out for the annual musical festival and the styles they were showing off. Let's find out who can handle the heat and who seems to be letting the heat get the best of them. Victoria Justice's red dress and black sun hat proved to be a showstopper. And I think my reaction can be best summed up by Instagram user Marcus Senior123, who called her gorgeous, delicious, pretty, cute, lovely, sweet, stunning goddess queen. Need I say more? Selena Gomez's pattern blue sundress and matching bandana around her neck made her the embodiment of a spring day. If only we could always look that comfortable and still slay all the time. <laughs> Emma Roberts stepped out in a white mini dress, and after seeing how she was able to rock it, I can say I've rediscovered my love for lace. <laughs> if only finding the right style seemed as effortless for everyone else as it did for those three. <laughs> Lord it looked as if she was preparing for two different events. The top says formal, but the bottom says 50 meter dash. Rihanna's outfit didn't come together either. She captioned the pic on Instagram that said she can't go home yet before more people see her. But it looks like you're already still at home trying things on. Someone said they will wear that every night, but where are they going, karaoke? That's all for fashion. Like I always say, keep it classy. Here's Rachel with music. Let's kick things off with your top 10 songs for the week. Paris by the Chainsmokers is still holding on, coming in at number 10. Better you stay in Paris to get away from your parents. Body Like a Back Road from Sam Hunt hits number 9. Body Like a Back Road. Lil Uzi Vert's EXO Tour Lift 3 jumps into the top 10, reaching number 8 this week. Mask Off by The Future reaches number 7. Percocet, yeah. Miley Percocet, Percocet, yeah. Miley Percocet. Kyle and Lil Yachty's I Spy is coming in at number 6 this week. Spy with my little lie. A girly I can get cause she don't get too many likes. Another Chainsmokers song, Something Just Like This, featuring Coldplay, finishes this week at number 5. I want something just like this. Harry Styles' debut single, Sign of the Times, enters the chart at number four. And it's a sign of the times. Humble by Kendrick Lamar is at number three this week. In the spiral, soprano C, we like to keep it on the high note. Bruno Mars' That's What I Like takes the second spot. Anything you want, just to put a smile on it. And Ed Sheeran's Shape of You is proving to be unstoppable, once again finishing at number one. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with the shape of you. We push and pull like a magnet. And for our Golden Note Story of the Week, Lady Gaga just dropped a new single, The Cure, after performing at Coachella, and this is one highly addictive piece of pop confection. I think we can expect a strong entry when it hits the charts. And that's what I've got for music. Let's move over to Chris with The Boiling Point. It looks like this pot of tea is starting to gather steam. Let's see what's reaching a boil on this edition of The Boiling Point. Sheila Abu Salam was the first female black judge on the New York Court of Appeals, and she sadly was found dead on April 12th. She's being remembered as an advocate for queer rights when it came to expanding parenting rights, and given her history, she's appropriately being called a trailblazer. And she's not the only one who's earned that title. Daniel Kibble Smith is pinning a children's book that portrays Santa Claus as a gay black man in an interracial relationship. A refreshing change from the old images of old Saint Nick we've known all our lives. Another image that is causing controversy is one of Russian President Vladimir Putin in drag makeup. It apparently matters so much that it's now being banned throughout the country. It looks like some people need some thicker skin and also a soul. He's not the only one. 
We have more problems here at home, and now singer Jackie Ivanka wants to take on one of them. She and her trans sister Juliet want to meet with the president to appeal with him about supporting trans rights. So far, nothing has happened, but it looks like she's ready to hit back, and hopefully we all are. It's finally tea time. Let's see what Spencer's serving. Some tea is about to get spilled, so get ready, everyone. Kendall Jenner's shockingly ignorant Pepsi ad was obviously going to be the hot topic amongst the press when she arrived at Coachella, but sources say that they are prevented from even asking her about it. What a luxury it is to be a rich white girl and you can just ignore all of your problems like that. We certainly won't forget what Jeff Varner did to Zeke Smith on Survivor. To Jeff, his desire to win a game show justified outing transgender Zeke Smith, not only embarrassing him, but also using it as an opportunity to spread the lie that trans people can't be trusted. But Jeff got what he had coming. He was promptly eliminated from the show, and after the episode aired, he lost his job. Bye bye Jeff! As Oprah was leaving CBS the other day, a fight broke out among fans waiting to greet her, and she quickly left that scene. Y'all can fight all you want, but don't even think about busting Queen Oprah. And, and that is your last dose of gossip for now. Goodbyes are never easy, but we have to do them anyway. Thank you so much for making this a successful season. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe below to Entertainment Monthly on YouTube. We'll see you next time. And, and that's, that's the, the tea. tea.